Hey everyone and welcome to Chinese Skill Unit 22. In this unit, we'll be expanding a little bit on a few particles and question words we've learned from previous units, as well as learn how to describe a noun's location in more detail. So let's begin here by taking another look at the ending particle na. Introduced in Unit 1, we learned that na can be used to revert a question back after we've given a response, like in the common phrase ni na, which means how about you? Additionally, na can also be placed after a noun or noun phrase to ask where someone or something is, and uses the following simple structure. A noun phrase plus na. For example, have you ever lost your phone right after you were just using it? You remember that feeling? In Chinese, we can say, 我的手机呢? 我的手机呢? Where's my phone? This use of na is more common in situations when you're expecting something or someone to be somewhere, but they're not, and you want to know where they are. So, I've pretty much had cats my whole life, and you get used to what times they like to eat or come in at night. So, if I go to let my cat in, but she's not there, I could say, 我的猫呢? 我的猫呢? Where's my cat? Following up on this new usage of the ending particle na to ask where a noun is, let's now take a look at how to give a more detailed description of a noun's location or position. Before we learn the basic structure, a plus zai plus a location is used to say a is at some place, like in 我在家, I'm at home. To express the relative position of a noun using words like under, above, or in front of, we can use the following structure. A plus zai plus B plus a positional noun. So literally this is saying A is at B's upside, bottom, front side, back side, etc. Here, knowledge of the basic positional nouns is important to give a better description of where something or someone is. In Chinese, on top of or above is 上面. 上面. The opposite being below or under. 下面. 下面. For inside or in, we use 里面. 里面. And for outside or out of, we say why men? Why men? So let's take a look at a few examples of the A Zai B's positional noun structure. Ma Zai Sha Fa Ho Mian. Ma Zai Sha Fa Ho Mian. The cat is behind the couch. And Ji Dan Zai. 冰箱里面 鸡蛋在冰箱里面 The eggs are inside the refrigerator. Chair in Chinese is 椅子 So how would you tell your friend Your shoes are under the chair? 你的鞋在椅子下面 你的鞋在椅子下面 Your shoes are under the chair. A little note here, when using 上面 for on and 里面 for in, it's more common just to hear native speakers say 上 and 里, both pronounced with a neutral tone, like in 我的手机在桌子上, 我的手机在桌子上, my phone is on the table, or 鸡蛋在冰箱里, 鸡蛋在冰箱里 The eggs are inside the refrigerator. Now let's talk about a few question words, starting with a new one here. 谁 is the question word for who in Chinese, and can be simply used just by replacing somebody in the sentence. For example, 他是我爸爸 He is my dad. If we replace my dad, 我爸爸 with 谁 and say 他是谁 now we're asking, who is he? Similarly, if we say, 他在厨房里, he is in the kitchen, how can we change this statement to ask, who is in the kitchen? 谁在厨房里? 谁在厨房里? Who's in the kitchen? Let's try one more here. How could you simply ask, who is this? 这 
Shi Shei. Zhe Shi Shei. Who is this? Did you get that one right? The next question where we have here is one we've already learned from previous units. Shema, which means what? Shema can be used by itself as a standalone question, expressing surprisement, very similar to how the word what is used in English. For example, Shema, Wei Shen Jian, Zai Fang Zu Wai Mian. What? The bathroom is outside the house? Or Shema, Ni Yo Shi Zhi Ma? What? You have 10 cats? If you're ever traveling in China and something unexpected happens, what could you say to express that you're surprised? Shema? Shema? What? Good job. Lastly, we're going to take our first look here at a Duoyin Zi, which is a character with multiple pronunciations. When we use Zhi as a measure word, like in Yi Zhi Ma, one cat, it is pronounced using a first tone. Zhi. But when we pronounce it Zhi with a third tone, it expresses the meaning of only. For example, Wo Ma Ma, Zhi Hui Shuo Ying Yu. My mom can only speak English. She can't speak Chinese. Or, 我只有一个姐姐. 我只有一个姐姐. I only have one older sister. So how would you say, my apartment only has one bedroom? 我的房子只有。一个卧室 My apartment only has one bedroom. Good job! Bye bye!